In this tutorial, we'll solve the error failed to load resource. The server responded with a status of 404, not found. Okay, so there are three possible solutions that I have for you. So the first one, you need to check if the path is correct. So for most of you, this will solve it. So for example, you need to understand that if you use two dots and then forward slash, you're going up a folder, a directory, right? So make sure if, if that is indeed correct. Maybe you, you need to move up even one more folder. Right, so now you're going up two directories or two folders, and then you go into the library folder, and then you get the script.js file. And maybe you want to have um, without the dots. So here it mean it actually means the root. Uh, depending how the, on how your server is set up, it may mean something else. But this is this actually may be the the correct syntax for you. Right, so make sure you understand how these paths work. You go up one folder with this dot dot forward slash here we're actually going up two folders this is the root of something and without the root without the forward slash at the beginning maybe this is what you want uh, go into the library in the same folder and then go in the script.js use the script.js file right this is actually the same as dot forward slash here right so maybe this is also something you want to try if this doesn't solve it for you make sure you check if there is simply a typo in the file name you may also want to try matching the uppercase and lowercase too right so for example if an image is not loading make sure that for example jpeg maybe it should be uppercase or maybe it should be lowercase make sure it matches up exactly all right now if you're working in react you may actually get this error in your dot env file because you're using quotes. So maybe you're using something like API key is, right? So for your environment variable, you're using these quotes. You actually should not be using quotes in .env. It's actually a little bit confusing, but um, you may get that error if you do that. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.